welcome back to Too Crafty. As always, this is Kondrick, and I've got uh, one or two little projects I want to do today, and I'm going to have to head to spawn to do them, uh, but I've got to gather some supplies real quick, and I don't have a ton of time to record today, so we're going to see how much, um, how much actually gets done. Where, where's all my redstone? Huh. All right, well, I'm going to gather some supplies, and uh, I'll see you at spawn. All right. Now I'm finally at spawn. I actually already marked out a space where I, uh, I want my little build to go, and I have some supplies in this chest. So I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, and use the replay mod, which is awesome, to uh, to time lapse a large portion of this build. Uh, I'm not really feeling like being very talkative today, but I want to get this build done. So yeah, enjoy. Right, and that is it. Uh, almost. I forgot something very, very important, and uh, and that is packed ice. Uh, the one thing I still need is some packed ice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to cut for a little bit. I'm gonna go get the last couple things I need. I actually need to uh, need a ladder. I need to fill in around here, which isn't really gonna be all that interesting to do on camera. And uh, I have to add in the redstone, which I have. I just didn't hook it up because I still have to bring the cows over. And uh, if you haven't figured out what this is, then uh, I guess you'll see in a second. Be right back. All right, and I am back. 
I got some cows in here. I'm gonna. It's gonna take a little while before I can breed them up. And looks like I've got some gaps I've got to fill in real quick. But uh, I filled in the grass around. There's a little trap door around here in the back, just in case anybody on the server wants to get down inside and do some maintenance. Uh, let me hook up the redstone real qu really quick here. We just need the, uh, the comparator here. A dot of redstone there. A repeater right here. And two redstone dots. And that's that's it. Um, that's all the redstone needs. Actually, we need to turn that on to subtract mode. Now, I have to put all this ice in, which I did get some packed ice. So, let's see. Go there. Um, now, I'm going to have to put some water in as well, obviously. But I will do that off camera. Basically, I just need to put some water in there so that anything that the dropper... The, Anything from these hoppers will go into the dropper. That little clock over there will then spit stuff out into the water stream, which will take it over to this item elevator, which can go up into those hoppers up there and fill that entire array of chests uh, over time. Now, as you can see, some of the baby uh, cows already dropped down onto the hoppers. That's because uh, when they're small, they can actually fit in between the iron bars and the slabs. So I turned the slabs, um, I added a second set of slabs on the ends temporarily so that I can breed up a reasonable amount of cows in the top. Once they're done, I will uh, just break these slabs out and, uh, and put a single slab in its place like that. And then, um, let's see if we can get up somewhere so you can see up here. Now, you'll see that the iron bars don't connect on that side, but they do on this side. So, once there are enough cows up above, I will uh, swap that out. And I have one, well, two more things I need to do real quick. And then I'm going to call this project good. Um, other than some minor tweaks. I need a bucket of lava. I also need water. I need to make an infinite water source. Actually, no, I... I think there's water nearby. Um, is there water nearby? Yeah, there's water right over here. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do, come down here, and we're going to... I'm so glad I raised this up, because this is going to get messy. Or could get messy. All right. Got the hopper back. Good. So we'll put the water here, and we'll put this hopper right back here. And now you'll see that if we toss anything in, it should get spit into the water stream and up it goes. It'll get collected by that hopper at the top and it'll end up in that chest right there. So we've got that. Now I need, um, I need one more bucket of water for the breeding chamber. But I also need to put this bucket of... Oops. I need to put this bucket of lava right here. Uh, right here. So, when the baby cows fall down, they fall down on the sides. When they grow up, they will actually be tall enough that they will, uh, they will be wide enough and tall enough that they will actually end up inside the lava. They will burn and die, and we will get raw, uh, cooked steak and leather, which will do its thing and go up into the system. So, now all I have to do is add the bucket of water for the, uh, the breeding chamber. And um, some minor off-camera adjustments that I forgot to make uh, earlier. But, uh, yeah. So, I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. Um, I'm not quite sure. I know Soap said he might want to show me something later. So, if that is the case, I'll be back in a little bit. If not, that's going to be the end of the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. And have a great day. All right, and we are back. Um, Soap actually told me he wanted to show me something. So I've been running back and forth to spawn way too much today. So I think what I'm going to end up doing, I'm just going to toss everything into the sorting system. I can always get it back later. Uh, no need to hold on to it. And I'll just run over here really quick. 
and uh, and break this bed, and I'll put it right back. But uh, you know, now that my spawn is reset, all I have to do is head on down here and hop off the edge. Yay! All right, it didn't work. Huh. It didn't work. I still respawned at the bed. I guess I waited to. Uh, Okay, let me place it. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, let's jump again. Woo! And I am back at spawn. Yay! Woo! Hey, and there's soap. And ah, there. Hey, soap. What's up? Howdy. Yeah, I just came came out this way, so. So, um, you wanted to see what I worked on today, huh? Yeah, yeah, let's take a look at that. Well, I, I thought it would fit in nicely with your, your build that already was using bricks. So, Very it's, nice. it's, it's kind of all one block, but... <laughs> Very I nice. why not? So and, what? Uh, the cow cooker? Okay, so, how's it work? Uh, basically, you just, uh, you feed the cows, <laughs> and, um, this water, they're standing on top of a, uh, an iron bar. Okay. And the baby cows actually can fit between the edge of the iron bar and the slabs on either side. So then they fall down underneath, and if you come back around, there's a ladder back here, which I actually did not explain this quite as well as I could have in my earlier clip of the video, so... Yeah, but they fall down here, and you can see they're standing on top of these hoppers underneath of the lava, and they're skinny enough that um, they can fall past the lava without a problem, but when they grow up, they take, I think it's a block and a half or something, width? So yeah. So they end, up, they end up cooking, and of course the hoppers go into this little uh, dropper block up the ele item elevator and into the chests. I'm familiar with those. I've done plenty of those. So, so very simple. <laughs> yeah, that's great. But I, uh, I thought, you know, I had an idea actually last night of a build that I thought looked decent enough and could serve a purpose. So I figured, uh, why not? I'm gonna grab a couple pieces of steak here just so I have some. But uh, so uh, you had something you wanted to show, huh? Oh, there we go, steak. Nice. Yep. Get a little bit more. Uh, steak and leather yeah. and yeah all sorts of good stuff okay yeah so uh mac had been asking about one of these lately too so hopefully he exactly that's why i had the idea exactly. he was asking about right. leather last night and i was like oh well i've been wanting to do this for a while so here we go yeah so uh i've been working on something but it's uh it's a little bit more of a walk um so so, so... should we maybe cut for a little bit or well you're already cut but should i cut maybe yeah it, it uh it's going to be a little bit uh because i don't have another portal to it which way do we got to okay. go all right and in that case uh we'll be right back all right well ladies and gentlemen we are back and uh so i finished off the design up here and i figured why not just uh show it to somebody else on the server at the same time i'm showing it to you so Guess who we have with us? None other than Condrick. <laughs> As usual. Seems like oh, both uh, of us uh, collab with each other more frequently than anybody else. <laughs> yeah. So Condrick was kind enough. Well, he, he just did a really cool build over at Spawn. And uh, I regret to say I have not brought you along for that, but hopefully we'll take a look at that later. But uh, but yeah, here's here's the squid farm, Condrick. And the, the design. Interesting. Uh, yours kind of saw it um, in its infancy. I was starting to fill in with the coal blocks, but I carried this out to the path. You see it's a diagonal yeah. over to that bridge over there. I like it. I like the idea of the coal under the glass. Well, that way I can keep the light levels. I don't have to worry about them. Yeah. Since nothing's going to spawn. So. And, but I still put the, it, it was really dark, so I did bring in some sea lane. Oh, and I see some squid and, dropping. Uh, yeah, this this is a squid farm. It's based on the zip crowd design. 
where where you use that um, non updated ice block and you have the water streams going down and and this area is very special um, if you were to fly around in creative you would see that there's very little water in a 100 radius around the layer right around in this area so uh, we get pretty good spawn rates inside the farm yeah that's and normally, pretty efficient yeah normally uh you'd go to a desert or a mesa or something to do that but i managed to find one here not uh 300 blocks 400 blocks from so all you do you just uh come in here and it's been filling up we're <laughs> wow we're on this column yeah <laughs> we got plenty of squid and it's yeah it's going around the back here is going to be the last one to fill up but yeah. uh but yeah and uh, my viewers will notice, and if you watch me now, you'll notice something come into my inventory. Yeah, let's take a look with this redstone torch right here. Right? Ooh. Yeah, you like those torch keys, don't you? I, I do, because they, they hide this thing really well. So we've got a, it's a butted piston that is horizontal firing. And then that, that shoots out just enough this redstone block to get Okay. Ah, to do a, a that keeps the door open. A comparison. This is a block. half Jeb door. Yeah. Nice. And uh, we we don't. I mean, if you if you want to take a look at the uh, mechanics, I mean, there's the ladder there, but it goes down to when I said earlier, I was telling Contra he he had an item elevator. I said I'm familiar with those. Yeah. There's there's item elevators down there. So, um, but that's the squid farm. There it is covered in black wool. I did not feel like getting that much coal. Yeah. Hard enough getting the the current. Uh, if you hit that button right there, that'll open this door back up and we can ah, go through. Yes. And I'll grab the redstone. Uh, any you know, any questions about that? Not really. I mean, it, it makes sense. Actually, I was I was gonna do something like that. Um, like the squid farm at the uh underneath the fountain at my base. Oh, yeah, because you cleared out a huge area under there. So Exactly. All I was going to do was knock out a couple of the fence gates that hold up the, the water in the center and then use the ice blocks. But I just okay. haven't gotten around to it. All right, so I guess we can just head back to uh, to, to my base. Um, maybe you want to try heading over to the commercial district, maybe play some games or something? I think maybe we could do that. Um and uh, I don't think my viewers have seen this path yet. So, was there anything? Yeah, just anything special you wanted to say about this path? Well, I mean, it's it's kind of your bog standard path here. It's somewhat somewhat uh, similar to ones that Zade has done, um, going out to his base from spawn. So I wanted to kind of keep that that same design feel, but um, I did put this in the replay mod so um that's yeah, earlier actually, in this video I, i've seen that upload already uh you've seen part the, of it i haven't the, no I haven't the done actual the replay though I, I saw the actual yeah. uh replay that you put in the replay center so that's pretty cool yeah and then uh we got this it attaches to this path but we're going to skip over that I've, I've got an extra boat here i'm just gonna yeah. go on um that sounds like you know a good the idea. uh the uh Snapshots are coming out. I wonder if they fix those boats. I mean, these. I hope so. I've a few of these. Uh, I've had to clear out all the. Boats are the running uh, joke of the game, aren't they? Yeah. It's all some mo youngsters doing some stuff with um, pictures of boats, talking yeah. about them breaking, and it's like. Yeah, you know, because boats in real life break every time you run into something. Yeah. Oh, it's Matt. Hey. Go through here. All right. Well, um, uh, Andrik, yeah, are you through the portal yet? I'm just entering the portal now. Why? Um, uh, you, you gotta see this. Whoa! What? Um, yeah. Where are we? Uh, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> 